it's all the time, welcome back to one of the seven remake. Last time we got our costumes and now we can continue with the story. No way. Here you are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. All right, let's go. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the wall. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. Is there anything here? Maybe treasures? Or... Well, yeah, let's just go to second floor then. to yourself we've been waiting for you to show that Andreas girl I'd let her do go to your to room me. and wait quietly rooms at the end keep walking So dizzy. Gas. Uh, uh. Come on. Gosh, look at Damn it. Cloud. Tifa is back. Tifa? Yes? You okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Wait a minute. Cloud? Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup! And that dress! Nailed it, I know, thank you. Moving on. <sighs> you good? Yeah. Bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey, Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith, a friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks. Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no, not until I got what I came for. What? So. After we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time. But then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates. And that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I yep, guess not. Nothing can go you, wrong. Me, Cloud, makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. 
This room gives me the creeps. All right, let's walk uh, around. Two poet head, very usable. Oh, there's an um, interesting shop here. We get these. And we are ready to go. Let's see what weapon they actually sell. Well, this will be useful. I might need it later. Extra material slot, always good. Tonight's audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on, ladies. Let's have Let's some. Go. All right, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? Met before, have we? Mm -mm. Uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Lady. Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh, wow. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or you? maybe you? Yeah. Tomorrow's or the day after, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm gonna enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah! yeah. Okay. Okay, ladies. Y'all come with me. Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh. You're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Woo! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> Hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all huh? got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. Good day! Oh! <laughs> so, ladies, ready to 
get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Mm -hmm. Four guys between us. Okay. Let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Colosseum! Greetings. What the hell? Get down! Don't you stupid! Wait! Good job, Eric! It was nothing compared to you! Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts with you. Oh, thank you very much. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Uh, thank you! You glad? Corneo's room, right? Let's see if there's... Yep, there was a treasure here. Finally, we can all stay again. Now we can continue our way here. Rescue it on. What you a bad boy I bastard. am! <laughs> yes, yes I am! Here I come, baby! <laughs> hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners too. What the? Cloud, your clothes! <laughs> oh. Oh. Surprise. So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Nah. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! <sighs> uh, some guy with a gun for an arm! I was paid to find him! Paid by who? I can't tell you that! They'd hunt me down like a dog! Well, you better. Cause if you don't, I'll rip them off! <laughs> it was the Director of Public Security, Heidegger! It was Heidegger! Shinra! And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid, you know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> they are serious. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. 
and I mean stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7 is going to look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? When they visit the church and dead, when they think they already won, when they lost their minds. So. Oh, well, the source already went. Oh, I'm sorry! Time's up! Oh. The answer lies... in the sewers. <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells! Thanks for watching, remember to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.